Here we have 4.7 factoring a sum or difference of cubes. Now sum and difference of cubes have their own formulas. So for the sum of two perfect cubes, the formula is a plus b, a squared minus ab plus b squared. Now notice that the formula does not have this factored into its own two parentheses. That's because this cannot be factored. So once you've applied the sum or difference of cubes formula, do not attempt to factor this longer um, factor here. It cannot factor any further. The only one you need to be aware of is this one. Um, if for some reason this can be factored further, then you must factor further. The same with the cube, with the difference of cubes. You get a minus b and then a squared plus ab plus b squared. So again, this longer factor can never be factored further. You're only going to see if this first factor can be factored further. So let's go ahead and apply this. So this one has the plus sign. So I need to identify what is being cubed here and what is being cubed here. I know that 3 cubed gives me 27 and x cubed, of course, gives me x cubed. And here, 5 cubed gives me 125. If you don't know your cubes, you can always use your calculator to verify, right? You can sit there and do 5 to the third power, 6 to the third power, and so on and so forth until you get the one that works. Now I have these, this is like my A and this is like my B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write A plus B, so 3X plus 5, and then A squared. A squared is the same as saying A times A. So what do I get if I do 3x times 3x? That's the same as saying 9x squared. Um, and then the sign is a minus, and then it's A times B. So what do I get if I do 3x times 5? That would be 15x. And then plus B squared, which is the same as B times B. So what would I get if I did 5 times 5? that would be 25. And then this is the factorization, okay? So remember, whatever sign is here is going to be that first sign in the small parentheses, and then the opposite is going to be the next sign in the bigger parentheses, and then the last sign is always going to be plus, okay? And then the way I remember this is A, B in the first one, and then A, 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 B, and then B, B for the last one. So I typically don't memorize these all too much. What I remember is this formula. Once I figure this out, it's going to be A, because that's a minus, a minus, and a B. Then A times A, then the opposite of that, which is plus. Then A times B, and then this sign is always a plus, and then finally B times B. This is really the formula that I use in my brain when I'm factoring cubes, okay? So this one's always the same, the next one's the opposite, the last one's plus. And then all the letters are in this form, okay? So what is A and B? What is being cubed here? I know it's a two and a Y, and here's just the one. One cubed is one. So that means A is two Y, the minus sign, B is one. A times A, two Y times two Y is four Y squared, plus A times B, two Y times one, is just 2y plus b times b, which is 1 times 1, which is ends up being just 1. And then you would see if these guys can be factored further, but because there's no power on this x and there's no power on this y, this little part cannot be factored further, so we're done with that, um, with these both of these two problems.